Hello, I want to make a quick update about my car. So, because original head unit is a little bit old and it's not functional, I mean, navigation part is not functional in, in where I live, so I decided to get a, a good uh, uh, tablet. So, for, and one, is, one of the requirements was it, it must fit into original slot because I, I don't want to modify this uh, bezel. So, yeah, so I was searching and I I was only found one tablet that will fit very nicely. It is Lenovo um, Fa Plus. So it's octa core, 1.2 or 3 gigahertz, but it's 8 cores, uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and of course full HD uh, IPS uh, display. And of course with capacitive multi touch. So this is very nice. And uh, this is a 3D printed part. It will be, it's it only to see how it fits it will be made uh, when i finish my project it should it should be made in aluminium it will be anodized uh, black aluminium so of course camera i don't know if i will blank it or not and uh, this grill i think it will be power on button because uh, of course it's, it's easy to power on but like with double tap but it's not always working um let's double tap it. okay so now it works okay so Original idea is to uh, take this uh, tablet, uh, create a charging circuit. Charging will be uh, done in the smart way. Uh, if I'm driving, of course, it will charge a battery no matter no matter uh, no matter what, because uh, alternator is always uh, pumping juice inside the main battery. But if I park it, it will charge only if like battery voltage is above uh, 14 volts. So so I will not drain my uh, main battery because. Even if, uh, of course, uh, in standby, it, it can survive about a week or even more if I kill all the tasks. And, and of course, I, uh, this is my daily driver, so it should be charged all the time and I, I don't need to worry about battery. So, okay, so let's let's see what I have here. Okay, come on. So that, that's why I'm saying I, I will need buttons. So I think I will, it will be volume down, power and volume up. So right now it's just a simple, uh, simple tablet with stripped uh, user interface. So as you can see, it's 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 I I I I, I'm, I, re I really like um, I really like uh, Android and I, I really like uh, Google um, Google Maps because we give a satellite view we can give a of course even uh, now it, it offers offline navigation so that's that's why I'm I'm why I'm, I'm trying uh, to implement a uh, tablet so uh, let's go back so yeah it's 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 nice it's not not not, a, not the fastest tablet but I did uh, did some driving uh, with, of course with speaker not with um, uh, car speakers and navigation was very very good so yeah so what I have to do, uh, I have to ma make this in this bezel in aluminum, uh, make a electronics for charging. I will use simple constant current charger, uh, like 4.1 volts, uh, constant current 1 amp, and that ch uh, if battery voltage is above certain point. And of course, I will uh, I will add microprocessor. So if if I turn my car, it will automatically power on uh, uh, a wake up uh, tablet. It will never go to sleep. So I mean, never go to full shutdown. So it will be ready all the time. And of course, one is annoying thing when I press a, a start button. Uh, if I already uh, turn my accessories on, it will usually it will it would shut down a tablet uh, not tablet main head unit from subaru and then uh, turn on again so that's kind of suck but so this should avoid to do that well it's a simple program if like a 30 second delay if if i i, I i'm losing power on the switched uh, uh, 12 volt power supply uh, uh, 12 volt wire i will simply uh, turn off a uh, tablet so cycle power a button to go to sleep and yeah, this is very nice, very, very good, quite powerful, extremely good colors and viewing angles. So it's, you, you, I mean, at any angle, of course, it, 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 it's, it's perfect screen. So this is why I, I was going for this tablet. And uh, if I found that this tablet supports USB OTG, I will add a, a camera 
uh, for backing up but of course it will be it should be uh, turned by some kind of um, uh, that that's rotation uh, so it, it, if it supports USB OTG I will simply add camera and uh, press on the like like here backing up and and camera will start uh, I, I should find application uh, for USB cameras and I don't know if if this this supports USB DAC so I will add that to get better uh, better uh, audio but I mean uh, this one should be just as good as original original uh, super head units so this is this is quite simple project but it will take quite some time to finish it should take around one month even more because I don't exactly know where I can uh, uh, machine uh, aluminum it's it's quite expensive and it's hard and of course a uh, second problem I need to get uh, I want to use original original super room uh, wiring uh, wiring so I don't need I need correct plugs for audio for power yeah so this is be hard to find but it sh I should I, 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 or if, if I will not able to find I'm simply cut and solder my own from Molex or something like that so yeah this is very nice panel and it looks very good of, of course uh, the flash uh, it shows all, all the all, all the finger marks but if I turn off flash and uh, on not normal driving even especially in the dark there is no there is no fingerprints nothing well of course we are you, you just can see it so yeah this is a very nice tablet for for this car it should be quite some quite fun project so thank you for watching and have a good holidays